Hello, Nistas and Nistos. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. I would like to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. So, today we are here to do my October empties. So, you know, my goal is to try to get my October, well, my empties from the previous month up by the 10th through the 15th of the current month. So, today is the 5th, and I am doing relatively good with trying to catch up. But before we get into my empties, I would like to show you um, the products that I received from Influencer. And um, Influencer is this company that will send you out um, free products just to do a review on them so um you don't have to pay for anything they will send it out absolutely free to you just to sample products some of the products are new some of the products are trending and um you just have to go to um it is called the influencer go to influencer and fill out your profile and I guess you'll be randomly selected to receive the particular items as um, you are brought up, I guess, as they filter through it and you're just randomly chosen to do these items. So I've had this box for probably about two weeks. So I am long overdue from unboxing it and um getting a review up so the items are relatively small items and i will be able to probably do my review tomorrow or either wednesday so um i am going to open it up all right so it just comes like this in the package and it says um, fall break Vox box. They call them the Vox boxes. So the first thing you have to do is go to the app, try the products, rock your task, and take a survey. So that's what you do. So it says out of a million members, there's just one you. Congrats on making our list of hand-picked influencers to... Oh, so it's not random. They said that they... Hand pick you. Hand pick influencers to receive this Vox box. Get ready to explore and indulge and share. All right, so the items that I have in this particular Vox box, it is the Chapstick Total Hydration, Sea Mineral Nourishing Lip Balm, and the Oxy Dark Protect Laundry Booster. So, um, the Booster is supposed to be formulated with an anti-fade technology, enzymes of staying fighters to help prevent fading and peeling and remove stains. It helps to keep black and dark colors looking newer longer, wash after wash. So inside they have it just kind of like neatly wrapped up inside of this box. So this is a sample of the dark protection oxy and I am going to do some laundry um, when I finish filming this video and um, this is the chapstick total hydration lip balm so the packaging is really pretty so that's what it looks like Mm, got a nice little smell, but the packaging is really pretty. Oh my. Well, I don't like the way it's popping out. All right, so we'll try this and we'll come back tomorrow and give a review. So let's get into my empty. All right, so we're going to start with the candles because they're on top. So I um, went through this Coastal Watermelon. This is a three-wick candle from Bath & Body Works. The fragrance notes in the Coastal Watermelon are juicy watermelon, a pinch of salt, sea salt, and water waves. 
All right, so the thing that I did not like about this candle was that it gave off a smoky smell, and I'm assuming that the smoky smell is from the sea salt that um, is in here, but it did suit some, you know, um, it was not an even burn, but I guess it was, it was just okay. It wasn't what I anticipated for um, the coastal watermelon smell, um, but I guess it'll work. Would I buy this again? No. Unless I could get it for 2 or $3, I wouldn't repurchase it. All right. The next one is one of my favorite scents in the new fall packaging. This is the Autumn Woods. All right. The Autumn Woods is um, dark walnut, English lavender, white amber. All right. So this is one of the woodsy um, cologne scents. And it is really nice. Um, I can't remember what the throw was. I would say probably a seven, but don't quote me on that. But would I purchase this again? Yes, I would purchase it again. I buy all my candles on sale. So if I was able to get this at a good sale price, and I probably will be looking for this on candle day. I know I will be looking for this on candle day. So um, I definitely will repurchase this. All right, the next one was the Autumn Day. Autumn Day, surprisingly, was a really nice candle. The Autumn Day has crisp green apple, figs, white birch, and cedar. All right, so when I first um, did a review or an impressions on this Autumn Day, I really didn't know how I felt about it. But as the candle burned down, what I did not like was the suiting, but the aroma that it provided it was a very um fall like scent and i did enjoy it would i rebuy it if they have it at candle day i probably would repurchase all right the next one this is not bath and body works this is from aldi and this is the honey glaze pair this is by far one of the strongest candles i have gotten at Aldi, it was definitely worth the $3.99, $4.99. I wish I had gotten more, but I did not. It gave a very nice smell. The throw was phenomenal. And would I repurchase it? I would. All right, this right here is the piece. I bought two of these. I have one that I have not burned. And this is part of the new Christmas collection. This is the Ice Raspberry Bellini. Um, the scent notes are the Chill Prosecco, the Sparkling Raspberry, the Twist of, I mean, the Citrus Twist. All right, I think I messed this candle up. The first night that I was going to try to give a review on it, I accidentally left this candle burning all night while we were asleep. And I truly believe that I scorched the essential oils in it. But I did um, let it burn down, but it still gave off that scorch smell. So do not use this as a review or a determination. I think that it was my fault that it scorched, but did not want to waste the wax. So I just continued to burn it. But you can smell the notes in it, like the raspberry and the citrus. And it does have like a mild, bubbly smell to it. But I definitely need to try it again. I do have one that I'm going to probably just use on the warmer. Would I rebuy this? I might buy one if they are at Camp Bay. All right, next candle. This is the Ghoul Friend. This was one of the holiday collections. The scent notes in the Ghoul Friend are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, um, spine chilling citrus with natural essential oils. All right, so this was a fair, um, a relatively strong candle. I did burn it downstairs in the eat-in. You definitely get those strawberries as well as the citrus and the peony. You could definitely pick up every scent note that is said in here. And um, would I purchase it again? Probably not. It was decent, but not repurchase worthy in my opinion. 
All right, so that is it for the candles. So we're gonna get right into the body care. All right, so um, the first thing here is this Raw Sugar Simply Body Wash. This is the tea tree and cucumber with aloe vera. And this is um, for sensitive skin. I ran across this inside of the um, local Target store and I was just in there browsing around in their um, body care, on their body care aisles, just trying to experience and trying to pick up some other body care things. This was a really um, good soap. I really enjoyed the uh, body wash. The only thing that I did not like about it, I have had body washes that have a more thicker lather. And you know, I love the thick lather. That's the only thing that I wish was different about it. Would I repurchase it? Definitely, I would repurchase it. All right, so we have the Jason's Aloe Vera Body Wash. You know that I use this as my Yoni everyday soap. Um, this was my first time getting the aloe vera. I did not like the smell at all, but I started to use it, so I had to get through it. Um, I used it, and like I say, I can use this every day in my yoni area, and it does not create any problems or pH imbalancing. You can purchase these at your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx and probably Burlington or maybe Ross Dress for Less. Um, they are $6.99 in TJ Maxx, but they're like $8.99 in Walmart. But this is a really good safe soap for me in my private area. All right. The next soap we got through was the Hydrating Coconut Oil Infused Body Wash by Jergens. I did do a review on this. I really like the Jergens body washes um the only thing that i did learn was that it had silastic acid in it so i would not recommend using this as a total body body wash i would use this the way that i use the bath and body works the lather on it is really good it was very moisturizing and um it lasts um a pretty amount of showers you know um hubby he enjoyed it well he enjoys anything he'll use anything would i repurchase this i got this at the dollar general for six dollars yes i would repurchase it. all right the next item here is this moisturizing hair max that i got from trader joe's i need to go to trader joe's you guys i haven't been in a while and i want to go what do i have here all right so this is the moisturizing um shea butter coconut oil mask um it was decent. I liked it. It does have a serum to match it. Um, this right here, it did um, make my hair more manageable. I have very curly, tangly hair, so it was more manageable. This is not a leave-in. You definitely have to wash it out. Um, the only thing about this is that I only got about two uses out of this for the amount of hair that I have. But for the price that you're paying for, it is well worth it. Would I repurchase it? Definitely, I would. The next thing I got, this is one of my favorite body scrubs. Although I'm not a big fan of the Sunshine Mimosa, but I do like this foaming body scrub. I like it because it is foaming. I like it because it is very abrasive. It is so thick that it is kind of difficult to even squeeze out of the container here. So, um, and it's more left in here. I need to use that up. All right, so it's not that much. So, it was really nice. I really enjoyed using it in the morning because, you know, anything that's citrus, it kind of wakes you up and it revives you. So, would I repurchase this? Definitely, I would if it is at SAS. And we have another um, body scrub sale. I would repurchase it. All right, the next item I got, this was the Be Positive Strawberry Lemon um, Foaming Hand Soap. It was just your basic foaming hand soap. Um, I did like the scent of it. It reminded me of like a strawberry lemonade. All right, the next one was the Ghoul Friend. This is the same thing, gentle hand soap. It smelled a lot, lot like the candle, minus the wax. Um, 
would I repurchase it? Yeah, it cleans your hands. If they have them for like $1.75 at SAS, I probably would repurchase it. All right. The next thing we have here is the Pink Coconut Calypso um, Micellular Body Wash. I really, really like these micellular body washes because, you know, with micellular um, body washes and products, it is supposed to, the technology in it, it is supposed to pull the dirt and the grit and clean it. I mean, and really cleanse the skin. Do I notice a difference when I use this body wash on my skin? I do. I don't have to like lather with this three or four times to feel that cleanliness, you know, as far as kind of almost like drying out your skin where you just feel like you got all of the grit and grime off of it. This is a good product. I bought several of these um, probably about a year before last in the SAS sale. You probably could find this on Macari. I did not see any at the last SAS sale. If some um, recirculate or surface at this SAS coming up, would I repurchase? Definitely, I would. All right, this is a moisturizing body wash. You cannot go wrong with the moisturizing body wash. I enjoy all moisturizing body washes. Um, the lather on it, it is really nice. It was moisturizing. Um, this is a part of the aromatherapy um, spa collection. This is the Hot Spring Spa. It um, was made with eucalyptus, lemon, cedar wood to inspire a calm and clear mind. I tell you guys all the time, I completely enjoy anything by aromatherapy if I can, um, with, if I can, if I like the scent of it. Um, it does what it says it's going to do. And I am a firm believer in essential oils because I am an essential oiler. So it does what it says it's going to do. It was very calming, relaxing. I bought these at SAS. I paid like $3.62 for them. And I am just about out of them. I think I bought like six of them. So I have thoroughly enjoyed these. If these resurface for SAS, would I repurchase? Definitely, I would. All right. This is another moisturizing body wash. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Body Wash. I also got this at SAS for $3.62. This is a part of a collection that probably was in stores before I really got back into Bath & Body Works because I am not familiar with this at a regular price. Um, I ran across this at SAS. It was moisturizing. I did notice um, moisture in my skin. I enjoyed it. I have a couple of more. Would I repurchase? Definitely, I would. All right. This is a nourishing all-in-one facial cleanser. Um, the cleanser exfoliates tearless and antioxidant, antioxidant rich. All right, this is by Trader Joe's. This is less than $5. It is a um, just a gentle all-in-one facial cleanser. Um, I like it. I probably would repurchase it at some point, but not right away. Because as you can see, my dermatitis and my hyperpigmentation, it is all cleared up and I am glowing. So I'm currently using the Shea Moisture um, Clay Creamy facial cleanser so I'm going to stick with what's working for me but I did enjoy this it was a really nice gentle cleanser and what I repurchase yes yeah, sometimes and you know later all right this is another foam and hand wash I got this at SAS as well this is the hip hop hooray Sprinkled Donuts. It's just your basic foamy hand wash. I did like the smell of it because it had like a marshmallowy smell to it. And I love the way marshmallows sell, smell. I think I probably have about three or four more of these in my stockpile because I got these for like $1.87 doing SAS. All right. So we went through this. Um, well, my husband went through this pumpkin. Um body butter 
This is one of Trader Joe's Seasonal Body Butters. Um, by far, he said this one is his favorite out of all three that we have tried. We have the coconut, the Brazilian, and the pumpkin. He likes the pumpkin. The pumpkin has a thicker texture to it. He really enjoyed it. And would I repurchase it? Definitely, I would. All right, so this is another foaming hand soap that we use. This is the Fresh Cut Lilacs. Um, I'm really not into florals or the lilac smell, but, you know, I'm like, hey, you're just washing your hands. Um, I got this for like a dollar and 87 cents, 82 cents or whatever at SAS. So that's the Fresh Cut Lilac Foaming Hand Soap. All right, so... Um, this tea tree um, and lavender, awesome. I really, really like this. Um, my toots, she like it too. I think she uses it as a bubble foam. I only use it as a luxury agent in the shower and it is completely relaxing. I also use the um, oil mister. I am currently using this in the shower now. I thoroughly enjoy it. I definitely would recommend that you get some of these. By the way, they are having a sale tonight. It's Friday. So whenever they have the $5.95 sales, they always, whenever they're having the $5.95 sales, you're always going to be able to get the shower gels. So I would definitely recommend that you purchase this. All right. So I went through a midsummer dream. This is a mini Body cream that I kept in my car. I had it in my car for a very long time. And um, Midsummer Dream was just one of those nice um, scents. It was very um, summery. And this one also had the hyaluronic acid. I think this is when they first started the formulation of the hyaluronic acid. Um, it's nice. Would I repurchase it? Yes, if it was at SAS for... 82 cents. Not that I don't like it, but it's not like I have to have it. All right, so this is the lightweight hand cream, um, hand gel. This is a really good hand gel. I was really excited when this came out and I was able to get it. It was just so fascinating to me how this gel merges in um, your skin absorb it. Would I repurchase it? Definitely. I have about four or five in my stockpile. All right. So this is um, the pink peach blossom antibacterial spray. And I have more antibacterial sprays because we go through probably about four or five a month. I think hubby just throws them away and I tell him all the time, don't throw them away. I want to talk about them. Um, I always tell you that this right here is really good. They need to come out with a body care for this because the scent is nice. So, um, would I repurchase? Definitely. All right. So, um, we went through the pumpkin cupcake. It was really nice. I had this going in the kitchen. Um, it's just your typical, um, wallflower. It was nice. Enjoyed it. Pineapple Prosecco. This is also a kitchen scent that I burn. All right. The Spice Cranberry Toffee. This was such a unique, even in the title of it. Um, I burned this in the hallway. It was nice, and I did get a couple of more. It is very fall, and it has like a festive scent to it. All right. This is the Ghoul Friend Strawberry. It was really nice. You could really smell the berries in it. This is a fairy tale. Um, you know, I like the scent of fairy tale, so it smells just like the body care. It is a really nice aroma to have either in your bathroom, your bedroom. I have one going right now here in my studio, and it is really nice and enjoyable. All right, so this is another pineapple prosecco that I use in the kitchen area. All right, so for the hand sanitizers that we went through, this is the citrus and aloe. I think this is one of the ones that I got for probably like 50 cents at SAS. This is the winterberry ice, one of the Christmas scents. This is the cocoa cabana coconut. I really like this scent. 
This is the salted cucumber. I like this. I hope they have these at SAS because I do want to get more of these. I like this salted coconut. I mean, this salted cucumber. This is one of my faves, vanilla bean Noel. And this is one of the Christmas scents for this year. And this is the autumn rainfall. It was just a hand sanitizer. I don't have much to say about it. So that is all I have for you guys. Um, I did not mean for this video to be 25 minutes. I try to keep them 15 to 20 minutes top. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I greatly appreciate you. So thank you for spending a little time with me. I hope it made your workout go by. Someone even told me that they were able to complete their laundry. Someone told me that my um, empty was like an SMR and I don't know how because sometimes I talk loud. Sometimes I talk in a monotone and I think it just depends on my mood. It's nothing that I plan to do or I try to do. It's just whatever I'm feeling at that moment. So whatever you um, like or wish to get from my empties, I hope you receive that. If you have any pointers, please kindly let me know in the comments below. And I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And do not forget, you are great. You, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.